Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see radiography examination according to ASME section 8, division 1, subsection B, UW11. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. UW11 is about radiography. Okay. So radiography examination, like if we say full radiography. So when, what we are going to discuss is that when full radiography becomes mandatory, when as per code, even though client has not specified, you need to go for full radiography. Okay. So what code is saying that whenever you have butt welded joints, and it is a lethal service, then full radiography is mandatory for all the thicknesses. If it is lethal and butt welded, full radiography is there. We have to follow full radiography. When we have butt welded joints in shell and head and the thickness is more than 38 mm, then also full radiography becomes mandatory, even though it is not a lethal service. So if thickness is more than 38, full radiography is required. So if it is not given by client, we have to specify. Okay. If it is unfired steam boilers having pressure more than 50 PSI, then also it becomes mandatory to do full radiography for all the thicknesses. Even for nozzle thicknesses, if it is more than 38, we have to do radiography okay so now the clause uwl a5 talks about that for all category a and d butt wells category a is what long sig what is category d nozzle to shell connections okay so if we have taken in the joint efficiency as one then we have to do full radiography right because only in full radiography with type number one joint, you will get the joint efficiency as one. Okay. So if you are having, if you have taken full joint efficiency, like maximum for that type, then it has to be full radiographed. Okay. So in one point where your category at B and C, what is category B? It's Sersim, right? So if Sersim is intersecting with category A, that time I can do spot radiography for that joint. Okay, That is permitted. Okay, So you don't have to do full radiography. Full radiography does not become mandatory. Okay. Now, if you have a tube sheet and there is category A weld, like if it is made from joints, then you need to have type 1 joint only there and you have to do full radiography for that joint. Okay, Then only it will qualify. Now about spot radiography. What exactly is spot radiography? We take only one spot okay, and then expose that. Only that, the length of that film, that will become clear based on radiography. Because that is called one spot. So if I have a any seam like long seam or sur seam, you know, if the distance is more than 15 meter for that long seam, then I have to take another spot. Like I can one spot can clear 15 meter of width. Okay. If I have another 15 meter, then again one spot will be required and whenever we do spot radiography we qualify the vessel by spot radiography we have to take joint efficiency from column b if you remember column a is for full radiography column b of uw12 i'm talking about table uw12 where from where we take the joint efficiency when we calculate so whenever there is spot we have to follow column B. See, in spot radiography, the spot length is just the film length. Okay. And between 
only the one film which is i think roughly 15 centimeter long the second film i'll keep at 15 meter distance okay so that is how we do spot ideography with increment of every 15 meter Now, if we have only external pressure applicable, then radiography is not required as per code. You, know, you don't have to perform radiography if only you have to design for external pressure. If there is no radiography, then from where we'll take the joint efficiency? From column C of UW12. We'll talk about UW12 clause also. So, column C will follow if the joint efficiency if there is no radiography okay i hope you understood this part stay tuned for more videos related to welding requirements